Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has been bragging about the DNC's host city as an example of how Democratic policies are working. Critics argue, no, it's the opposite, especially when it comes to teaching Chicago's children. One Illinois parent says the Chicago Teachers Union bears some of the blame for the grim situation. Just one in four Chicago students can read at grade level. It's even less than that for our low-income students. 40% are chronically absent, enrollment has dropped, and this is all while district spending has soared. And now CTU controls City Hall as well in the form of Mayor Johnson. It's a warning of what's to come if other large city districts let a radical teachers union control the reins. Let's learn more. Garrett Tenney is on the story here in Chicago. Garrett. Yeah, Harris, the Chicago Teachers Union actually argues that folks shouldn't put much stock into those abysmal testing scores because standardized testing in itself is racist. And the union argues it could turn Chicago public schools around if the city and state invested billions of more dollars into education. Since 2019, though, CPS budget has already grown from just under $6 billion to nearly $9.5 billion. And there has been almost no improvement in test scores. But Mayor Brandon Johnson Johnson and the union are doubling down on that strategy with a new push to take resources from the few schools that are doing well and giving them to the worst performing schools, which some critics argue should be closed. The biggest example of this is Douglas Academy High School, which had just 34 students last year. The school had one teacher for every five students, a, a third of which is the national average of 15 to one. And on a per student basis, Douglas spent more than four times the national average. According to Illinois Policy Institute, though, Douglas hasn't had a single student proficient in math or reading for seven years. Despite that, rather than closing the school and sending those students to others that are doing well, Mayor Johnson and the union are doubling down and want to expand these kinds of schools all across the city. Harris? Wow. Between that and the, and the high crime, the high number of homicides still leading the nation, I, I don't know where the mayor finds the time to, in some ways, foment some of the protesting that's been going on outside. I've seen him on local news every night. All right, Garrett Tenney, thank you.